my DIY holiday room decor and I am so excited because these are actually my favorite videos to make like ever sometimes lookbooks are but I've gotten a little more camera shy in the public eye so sorry for that um anyway where was I going with this so yes so as this is one of my favorite videos to make it is very special to me so I hope you guys enjoy it very much and this is actually going to be a collab video as I've mentioned previously in other videos and in vlogs and we've talked to each other about it many a time from Alexa DIY creativity here on the YouTubes she's doing a very similar video to me it's also a DIY holiday room decor her video her channel is all about DIYs and she has a second channel as well more beauty and personal related type things, vlogs as well, just as mine is. Reminder, Vlogmas is on my vlog channel. Go click it. Another thing I wanted to remind you guys is that I'm having a giveaway on my channel, so if you just click right here or down in the comments below, in, not in the comments, I lied, in the description box below, you can try and enter, and it ends December 25th if you didn't already watch that. But I'm assuming most of you have. And so this is one of my favorite videos. I'm sure that you want to watch it really, really quickly. Let's go. So for this first DIY, it's kind of a collage picture frame kind of thing. All you need is the internet. So hop on your computer, start searching for Christmas Tumblr Transparent. That's where I find the cutest and most adorable and useful kind of things. And I say transparent at the end of that because that makes those little checkerboard print in the background. And that makes the white in the background not to be there. You don't really need to have that quality for it, but if you're like me, you're kind of obsessed with things that are perfect and I'm a perfectionist and let's go so I start dragging it into Word document Microsoft Word whatever and I position them just as I choose and for this particular one I put you know Merry Christmas you filthy animal from Home Alone in the center cuz I think it's cute and mine didn't fit in my frame that nicely you could make it fit but I think adding this really pretty sparkly glittery thing in the back makes it even more girly and yeah Anything for you to notice. This next DIY is super similar. It just use a winter quote or song lyrics. That's what I did. And you can totally play around with the fonts and the sizes to it, your choosings. And I kind of wanted to put his name on the bottom, and then I decided not to because it didn't necessarily look pristine as I wanted it to be. That one fit in the frame very well, unlike the other one, so no background was needed. Baby, you're so classy. A red solo cup, black construction paper, white copy paper, and cotton balls. <laughs> Start hot gluing your cotton balls to the rim of your cup to make it look like the top of Santa's little coat. <laughs> Next, start cutting a black strip, and it doesn't need to be perfect because I'm just hiding the back of mine. Next, cut out a white square to act as Santa's buckle, and cut out the inside so, you know, it looks all good. And put it right in the center of your cup. Next, I just filled mine with pretty little clear marbles so I can put my makeup brushes inside and to be honest I don't even use all these makeup brushes I don't wear face makeup so I kind of just bought these to look pretty but the eye ones I do use and um yeah so start unwrapping your lights and by the way my Christmas jammies are from Target start hanging up your lights and I did this in the ghettoest way possible with thumbtacks Next, just take your duct tape and start duct taping your pictures to your lights. this 
this beautiful moment with yours truly. We will see each other next time because I'm sure that you are subscribed and you love me as well as Alexa. Go subscribe. Don't forget about it. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye, world.